I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. As you know, we normally take very interesting questions. Here is a wonderful question based on trigonometric equations. We need to solve the equation cos 4x minus cos 3x equals to 0. Yes. So that is the given equation for you. Find general solution for cos 4x minus cos 3x equals to 0. Now, to solve this equation, you might need some formula, which we have provided. Cos 4x is 8 cos to the power of 4x minus 8 cos square x plus 1. Cos 3x can be written as 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. We also have a very important formula, which is cos alpha minus cos beta equals to minus 2 sine alpha plus beta by 2 times sine alpha minus beta by 2. Now, these are very important formulae, which normally students may not remember. However, uh, you might sometimes have to derive them to solve such a question, right? But what we are focusing on are three different strategies to solve this particular equation. Now, this could be a very interesting test question. Depending on strategy you use, you might spend about 15 minutes, about 10 minutes or just 5 minutes on this particular solution, right? Maybe 2 minutes. So, our strategy number 3 is a 2-minute solution. Strategy number 1 will be much longer. So, we are going to use the formula given here. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. So, let's look into our strategy number one. In strategy one, we are making use of the given formula, which is cos 4x is 8 cos to the power of 4x minus 8 cos square x plus 1 and cos 3x is given by this formula. So, what you could do is that you have this equation which is cos of 4x minus cos of 3x equals to 0. So, you can write all these terms which are 8 cos to the power of 4x minus 8 cos square x plus 1 minus all this, which is 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x equals to 0. Now, that becomes a quartic equation in cosine. You may have to rearrange the terms, factor, and then solve to get the solution. So, this particular approach, which I am saying strategy 1, is very long, right? So, it may go on for a much longer time than what you have in the test paper, right? So, we will abandon this approach right here and move on to strategy number 2. Well, here is strategy number 2. I hope you are appreciating our approach. It is a learning process, right? So, many students get stuck with strategy 1. Now, strategy 2 is this formula, which is cos alpha minus beta is minus 2, cos alpha plus beta over 2, sine alpha minus beta over 2. This is not a difficult formula to derive. Most of you know it. So, we are given cos 4x minus cos 3x, right? So, basically, you see that alpha is for you 4x and beta is 3x, correct? And therefore, we can now write cos of 4x minus cos of 3x 
e equals to 0 as what? The left hand side minus 2 times sine alpha plus beta by 2 means 4x plus 3x by 2 times sine difference of these divided by 2, right? So, this is called sum to product or difference to product formula. This is a very important formula, right? So, make a note of this, which is called sum to product or difference to product. So, as soon as you write them as a product, they are like factored form, right? So, straight away, we have our solution and that is either this term is 0 or that, right? So, which is minus 2, sine of 4 plus 3, 7x by 2, right? And we have sine of minus 3 from 4, you get x by 2 equals to 0. Do you see that? So, applying this formula gives us a very beautiful result in just three steps. So, you have really saved a lot of time by this approach, right? So, that means you could now say that either sine x by 2 equals to 0 or we can say sine of 7x by 2 equals to 0, correct? So, so these are the two different equations which you need to now solve and get all your solutions, right? And you know sine graph, right? Let me sketch it here for the convenience, for reference, correct? So, clearly we know when sine is 0. Sine is 0 at n pi, right, in general. So, so that means this x by 2 is basically equal to n pi, right, where n belongs to integers, right. And so, so from here, very clearly, we have x is equals to 2 n pi, where n belongs to integer. So, that is one set of solutions which we have got. The other one is that we have 7 x by 2 equals to n pi, right? So, x is equals to 2 n pi by 7. You get the idea, right? So, so we have this set of solutions here and therefore, we can now write down our answer. Is this clear to you, right? Is that x is equals to 2 n pi or it is equals to 2 n pi by 7 where n belongs to set of integers. Perfect. So, this is uh, the most widely used solution for this particular question, right? Neat, it just does not take much time as you have seen, but the critical part here is to remember this particular formula in test which is not known to all the students, right? Perfect. So, it is a good idea to know this formula. Now, what is our strategy number 3, which is used by very smart students? And let me now show you strategy number 3. So, we need to show that cos of 4x minus cos of 3x equals to 0. Basically, we want to show that cos of 4x is equal to cos of 3x, right? Now, when is this equal? Well, this is equal under two conditions. You know, cos is an even function, right? You should know one thing that is cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta. It's an even function, right? Now, this is important to know, otherwise you miss one set of solutions, right? Now, that really means what? This, this means two things. This means two things and the two, two things are that 4x equals to 3x plus because the periodic function 2n pi, correct? Or it also means that 4x equals to minus 3x because it's an even function, right? Plus 2n pi where of course n belongs to set of integers. Make sense? Are you there with me? Do you see what? We did not do much, right? 
So when cos 4x is equal to cos 3x, it really means that 4x should be equal to 3x, right? Then the cosine will be perfectly fine. Also, minus will work because the cos function is an even function. You get that idea, right? So key here to get the right answer is to apply the learnings that cos is an even function. And now, of course, you get your answers as we did earlier. 4x plus 3x is 2 and pi, that means what? 4x minus 3x equals to 2 and pi, right? And that means x is equals to 2 and pi, correct? So we get one set, and here we add them, right? 4x plus 3x equals to 2 and pi, right? which implies 7x equals to 2 and pi. And that gives you the set of solutions for x as equal to 2 and pi by 7. In the first case, we got x equals to 2 and pi. Do you see that? So we again got both the solutions, but in just a minute, under that minute, right? You get the idea. So, so now you can see that how we are able to solve this. So that means that if cos A, which I'll summarize here, if cos A equals to cos B, it simply implies that A equals to B or A equals to minus B. Do you see that? Such a simple concept. And this concept really helps us to find immediate answer to our question. And that's what we recommend. So I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. In case you want to learn from me directly, you can always send an email on the address given or contact us on the website. Thanks for your time and all the best.